Hello everybody. Welcome to Sermon on the Go. I hope you are doing very well. I hope you are in good spirit. I hope that your children, your family, everybody around you are doing well. Today's message is about the Ten Commandment. And today we are going to treat the second of the Ten Commandment. Exodus chapter 20 verses 5 to 6 which forms part of the Ten Commandment. Let's hear the reading of God's word. God said to the children of Israel, You shall not have any idol besides me. You shall not bow down to them nor worship them. For I am the Lord your God. I am a jealous God, punishing children for the iniquity of parents to the third and fourth generation. Of those who reject me but showing steadfast love to the thousand generation of those who love me and keep my commandment this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God God is saying to the children of Israel and by extension is saying to you and I that we shouldn't have any other God apart from him we have been commanded to serve only God, the almighty God, the God that created the universe, the God that created you and I. We were only but a blood clot in our mother's womb. But look at me now. I have become a full-blown human being. Of course, God is saying that don't bow down to any idol, any idol image. Don't make them and don't worship them. Don't bow down to them. For if you do, then he will punish children for the iniquity of parent to the third and fourth generation. But you see, in that same reading, there is a message of hope. There is a message of comfort. And there is a message of grace. My dear friends, if you love God and keep God's commandment, then God is saying here, that he will love you and your generation to the thousand, the thousand generation of those who keep his commandment and those who love him. So if you are a Christian, if you believe in God, if you love God and you don't worship idols, you don't bow down before idols and you are a committed child of God, then the promise God is giving here is for you and I. God says that I will show my steadfast love to the thousandth generation of anyone who loves me and obeys my commandment. So when we read the Ten Commandments, some of it are very difficult. If you bow down to an image, if you bow down to an idol, if you worship an idol, if you make anything your idol besides God, then you will be in danger of punishment according to the second of the Ten Commandments. But in that same faith, God says that He shows steadfast love to the thousandth generation of anyone of those who fear Him, those who love Him, and those who keep His commandment. The first part of this commandment prohibit polytheism, believing in many gods. As God Almighty, His compassion, His kindness, His forgiveness are united with truth, holiness, and justice. The fact that God is a gracious and compassionate God shows that He will not punish people unless people spitefully reject God's patience, love, and mercy. In the first chapter of the book of Isaiah, the 18th verse, God says that, Come, let us reason together. Let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like chrism, they shall become like wool. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what you've done in the past 
and I don't know what your sin look like. But whatever it is that you may have done in the past, God is a gracious God. God says that if you love him and you keep his commandment, then he will show his steadfast love to you, to the thousandth generation. And he says that if your sins are like scarlet, he will wash them and they will become as white as snow. If they are as red as chrism, they will become like wool, says the Lord. So please take comfort in these words of scripture. God is never far from you. God's presence is always with you. God is always ahead of you. God is always behind you. God is always on your side and you will never fall into trouble. You will never be suffocated by any evil. Because you are a child of God, God will not allow any evil to come near you, nor allow any evil to come near your dwelling place. This is the heritage of the children of God. And the comfort in these words is that whether you are a Christian or you are not a Christian, it is God's promise to everybody. If you are a Christian, it's a bonus. If you are not, then you've got to work on your salvation. For God says you need to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. So if you are not a Christian, may I invite you to become a Christian by confessing with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believing in your heart that God raised him from the dead. If you have done these things, then you are saved and your name is written in the book of life. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. I shall see you on Thursday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>